you hi everyone and uh, thank you for tuning in to my latest video this is basically another surface mount rework video in which I'm going to take IC5 off the board and I'm going to show you how to do it using four different sort of methods uh, method number one I'm just going to use the one the general one that most people would probably do I'm going to use a hot air rework station but I fully understand not everyone's going to have one of them available so I will show you three other methods which you know hopefully you have got the tools required for them so yeah what we do we get straight on with method one so like i say i'm going to use a hot air rework station for this so the first thing i'll do i just generally run a little bit of flux up each side just to sort of aid the solder melting normally i'd protect the other components around this with foil tape but because there's no plastic parts nearby i sort of don't really need to so what I do, I've got my station set up to about 360 degrees, which is probably hot enough for this. And uh, yeah, what you do, you just run the sort of hot air pencil around the body, and start to sort of circle it first of all, and then just get a little bit closer. And you'll see the solder start to melt in sort of quite a few seconds, and then just gently sort of lift the component off its pads. So you just gotta make sure you don't try and take it off too early, because you risk sort of lifting the pads with it but this is quite a safe method just got to make sure you wait till the solder's melted on every pad and then it'll just lift off you just keep circling it until you're sort of quite happy and pretty soon that's going to go both sides just keep moving the pencil about any minute now it's going to go well, there you go, it's starting to go now. Just gently lift it off, pads are fine, no damage. So that's method number one for getting the IC off. And yeah, so that's quite a safe method. You sort of never do damage with these really, as long as you sort of don't try and take it off too early. So um, yeah, that's, that's a good method. But like I said, I fully understand if you haven't got a rework station. So uh, I'll show you three other methods. So uh, yeah, that's, that's like I say, method number one. Right again, so yeah, method number two, um, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to cut the legs, um, which obviously if you don't need the IC, it's not a problem. Um, so what I've already done, I've already cut sort of the first side along there, so I'm going to show you how I cut the second side, and this way you can just sort of gently tweak the body away, and uh, yeah, this is a good option if you haven't got an air re rework station, so obviously you won't be able to use the IC again, but it's quite a good option. So literally what I do first, I score along the top of each leg. I don't do the last one, I'll show you why in a sec. So I generally go along about three or four times. So you go about halfway down the leg. So just do one more. Just gotta be quite careful. And then what you do, if you sort of push a bit harder, you hear a click. Got to be careful. You've got the protection of the leg next to it, sort of stopping the blade going too low. That's what I do because I've already done the other side. So that's got all them done. So I don't do the last one, I tend to do that with my iron. So I literally just get my tweezers around the body, just put my iron on the end, and that way I've got just one joint to one solder. So that should just lift off. So there you go, you've got no damage to the board. And then what you can do, you can just go along the legs and just sort of tweak them off and clean them up with solder wick you can just do that on all of them and, uh, so yeah that's quite a good option cutting the body off and you can do this option with four sided quad flat packs no matter how many pins as long as you're quite careful like I say just sort of score along the top about three or four times about halfway down and then you've got the protection when you're sort of using the blade of the next leg and uh, yeah, it's a good good method. I've used it a lot over the years, and uh, yeah, never do any damage. So um, yeah, that's method number two. Right. So now we come on to option number three. Uh, this is where literally I just tweak up each leg, sort of just by putting my tweezers under the leg. I lift it up about half a mil to a millimeter. And then what I do, I go along and wick off all the solder. 
So I've got all these sort of lifted apart. I don't lift that last one. I've already lifted these just for the sake of the video. So what I'm gonna do, I'll show you how I lift the pins and then I'll whip off the solder. And then literally you've only got one joint to sort of undo at the end. So just run a little bit of flux along. So I've sort of preloaded my iron with a bit of solder. So what I do now, just put my iron on that end joint. So I'll get my tweezers under the sort of under the pin, I just tweak that up a little bit, about a mil. So do the same with the next one. Just lift it up about a millimetre. This way if you can reuse these chips, all you gotta do after is you straighten them up. So you just get your tweezers under. Don't go too high, otherwise the chip will be sort of unusable again. This is quite a good option if you want to reuse the chips and uh, it's pretty safe this option. So you don't need to do that last one, you can do that in a minute. So um, what you do, is get a bit of wick, and literally just run it along. Just wick off all there, make sure they're all sort of free. You can sort of see it going as you go along. make sure they're all loose before I try and do the last one you should see a little bit of movement in all of them yep so literally because I've already done the other side I've now only got to undo one leg with the solder so I just get my tweezers on the body and that should lift straight up so there you go so what you can do then is just clean it I've already done the other side so um that's why it's nice and clean so yeah you can sort of wick off the second side just got to wick off that one then they're, they're pretty clean so you've got no damage the chips reusable once you straighten the legs so um, yeah that's a good method if you if you want to reuse the chip so that's sort of method number three right so finally we move on to method number four uh, this is a final sort of option that I know about and uh, yeah it's my favourite and this is literally all you need for this is two soldering irons no other tools just a second iron and if you haven't got a second iron well worth getting one because there's so much you can do with it all you do for this option is just literally run along both sides joining every pin together so you've got a great blob right along both sides this is quite safe this option because the board's got no power going to it so yeah, it's quite a safe option and this is probably my preferred choice out of all the four. So all I do, get a second iron. What you can do then, just hold your iron on both sides, wait till it's gone right along the line and melted. I tend to turn it on its side, sort of hold it there. And I'd get my tweezers and just sort of grab that, the IC body and just Remelt the second side and just take the excess away. And then like say afterwards you can just go along it with wick and get the excess solder off. But this is a really, really safe option for two-sided ICs. And in general, a second iron is a great option for taking off resistors, tents, and uh, all sorts of sort of bigger two-sided components. In fact, I'll probably do a video on the, the uses of two irons one day because it's really, really good. So well worth getting another one. So there you go, got a lovely clean board with no damage and that is definitely, that's probably my preferred option. So yeah, out of four methods, I hope there's something useful for all of you and uh, yeah, thanks for looking in and much appreciated. And yeah, there's a subscribe link on the on the screen. So if you like what you saw today, um, yeah, please hit the subscribe and uh, I'll put a few more videos up. And yeah, until next time, thank you for looking in and uh, yeah, bye for now.